Hello Leo Virgo friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much friends for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It does mean a lot and if you're not subscribed yet please consider doing so. When you subscribe and you've been with me for about a month you will have access to all the chats and every Friday, first Fridays of every month, uh, <laughs> sorry not every Friday, every first Friday of the month we do free question Friday where I answer free questions. That sounds a little bit like a uh, tongue twister, right? All right, also don't forget to check down below in the description box. There's a lot of links, including the link to the deck that to the decks that we use for this, uh, the list of decks that we use for the channel. Also, um, I, no, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, my friend. Oh, this is a Wild Horses reading. So basically I'm inspired by the song Wild Horses by the Sundays. We're going to explore what will allow you to be free confident, empowered, to run towards whatever wild horses couldn't drag you away from, okay? So to run towards where your heart really wants to stay, okay, or wants to be. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, what is the what's at the center of this reading? What's at the center of this reading for our uh, Leo Virgo friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? We do have cat energy, but intuition. Also, this looks a heck of a lot like the Queen of Wands energy. So there could be a Queen of Wands, either someone is viewing you as the Queen of Wands, or there is someone, maybe an Aries, possibly a Pisces Aries cusper, or just someone else that is the object of your affection or the, the focus of your desire, okay? But intuition, I feel like you're you're getting messages. I feel like I feel like you already I feel like you know how to set your passions free, but I feel like maybe you're hesitating or maybe there's a reason why you're holding back, okay? Yeah, look at this. We have strategy. We have red fox. So I do feel like you. this might be part of a strategy. You might know when to play it cool, when to when to uh, you know cause a ruckus, but I do feel like here you are you are following your intuitions. You are I feel like you're making very intelligent moves because Aries energy, that's the first house. It can, you know, we forget it can be very intellectual, uh, also very creative. So I feel like you're trying to create your own passion. Maybe you're trying to rediscover your passion or you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, evoke your passion. You're trying to experiment and explore. How do you, you might also, if you've already found your passion, then it's like, how do I make this into something that I can, you know, that I can bring into the world? How do I manifest and actualize this? So I feel like you're doing a lot of planning, a lot of thinking, a lot of strategies, okay? We also have creation. We have the snake card energy. And the snake, you know, the snake is about transformation. It's about metamorphosis. And ultimately here about growth, okay? Growing past your, you know, growing um, larger than your old skin. Here also with, uh, what is that? Creation, yeah. I, I feel like you're trying to bring something to life, okay? You might be trying to fund a project or you might be trying to get into the performance industry. I do feel like, or you're trying to be recognized as an artist, okay? Whatever that means to you. All right, we do have purpose. We have the shark card energy. For some of you, this could be, I'm getting shark tank, so this could be also financial or business-wise. Whatever it is, you're either business is your art or art is your business okay so either you're making money off of your artistic skills your your eye your taste your creations or um or uh you make a living off of art itself okay you you create art you create deals okay all right, yeah, we do have change. We have chameleon, just talking about transformation, about uh, metamorphosis, strategizing. So yeah, I feel like you're about to unveil something big. You're, you're about to unmask or unveil something, or you know how, you already know how to, you already know how to unlock your passions or what are going, what is going to unlock your passion. Uh, you're taking steps to actually, to actually make it happen, or you are, again, trying to bring this thing into being. And I feel like you have really good business sense or you have very good artistic sense, creative sense, social sense. All right, we do have secrets links. So this could be a this could be a secret launch or something like that. So I feel like you're you 
there's really no no advice that you need or guidance it's just a matter of trusting that the plan that you set forth or the idea the vision your hard work is all going you it, it's about faith okay have faith that it's going to manifest also i think there's a reason that there's a mask here lynx energy can be about secrets riddles that sort of thing so i do feel like here with all these masks i feel like you are you're trying to keep things uh the best thing you can do to protect what you're working on is the elements of surprise and not because you know not just because people are you know people might steal your idea it's more about it ruins the it ruins like the um the gravity or it ruins the the intrigue it ruins the the payoff okay if it's released too early so you might be being very secretive about things in order not to you know spoil in order not to spoil the the impact of the surprise or the unveiling for everyone okay tell me about this uh, tell me more about this red fox energy so red fox i mean queen of wands energy this intuition energy cat energy with beauty and the swan that's like divine feminine energy abundance could also have something to do with the beauty industry so you might be unveiling a new beauty product or you might be the face of something is what i'm getting here leo virgo let's go ahead and take a look tell me about the uh the snake and the uh creation we do have kindness fruit bat and flying fox so maybe you're using some sort of brand launch to also you know maybe you're using a brand launch to also further create community or maybe you're you're reaching out to your community and you're asking them in or maybe you're crowdfunding maybe you're asking them to you could be asking them to participate or to vote so some of you maybe what you really need is more people to participate you really need to entice people with the beauty of your idea your project you need to pitch it you need to you need to put it out there okay for others i feel like if you're already doing that i feel like you you are finding support and i feel like a lot of people are willing like maybe you were trying you were thinking about getting a loan or you were looking to get you know uh, like shark tank sort of thing but it looks like here you might have enough people supporting you or you might have enough people that are um that are willing to rally around or believe in your creation you might not actually need to sign a contract with like someone who's going to take a part of your proceeds okay um yeah we have release here with the jaguar energy the jaguar is very powerful it's like and very independent so so you know it shouldn't use the word very but uh jaguar is powerful and independent so i do feel like you can stand independently from either this loan or these business partners or whatever i feel like for some of you you might have actually been approached or you might have gone to like a loan shark or something i feel like you can do this without without their help is what i'm getting here but i feel like you're going to need the kindness of the community that actually sees the beauty of your work or your artistry for some of you though it could be hard because you might be anonymous or you might be masked so you might have to in order to get the support you might actually have to reveal yourself and un unmask yourself okay we do have the um we do have sacrifice bull card energy so this is the sacrifice that you make in order to you know bring in a, a successful you know strategize a successful release a successful um, reveal or to get this project to, to get what you need to get this project going okay what do we have here uh let's take a look here all right <laughs> we'll do this really fast what do we have here uh tell me one more here we have the equator we have to make equal all right so yeah i feel like it's one for the other it's it's your anon anonymity all right being anonymous you have to sacrifice that in order to get this funding or to get whatever you need to go towards whatever it is that your heart is set on that you want to create this business endeavor that that validates you you know the thing that wild horses your sense of purpose maybe that uh nothing can drag you away from okay yeah we have butterfly we have the soul we actually have power the deer so um i got soul but i'm not a soldier i got the killers coming in 
But I feel like, yeah, the butterfly, of course, that's re rebirth, transformation. That's like the psyche as well. I do feel like whatever this is, I feel like it's it's worth it. It's treating some of some of that, letting people know who you are or using your identity in order to, you know, leverage whatever power you have in the situation to improve things or make things better, okay? Or to, to get this thing off the ground because you love it, because this is what you're passionate about. But I feel like the people that you were looking towards, I feel like maybe the investors you were looking towards or the, the company, you know, the, the label, whatever it is, I feel like they wanted more control or they wanted more of a cut. And I don't feel like you need them, to be honest. I don't feel like you need them in order to uh, in order to be successful with this, in order to, to get there, okay, wherever there is for you. We also have authenticity, the wolf card energy. So I feel like here, yeah, you're you're really, you know, first of all though, remember the wolf is not a lone wolf. The wolf, most wolves live in a wolf pack. If it's a lone wolf, maybe there's, you know, it may be an, a, not a very well adjusted wolf, okay? So don't, don't forget about your community because they're gonna be the way out. They're gonna be the way out for, of selling out. That's kind of what I'm getting here because whoever whoever is offering you this money, they want to change your image. They want to change your style. They you know they see your potential, but the, it, it's like they, they don't really necessarily care about what you're doing. It's just because you're what's hot right now, or you're what you know. Someone thinks you're gonna be the next big thing, but it's almost like it's not even you that they're looking at. They're just looking at how do we take you and paint all of our expectations paint all of our paint the image that we want you to be okay so i feel like to to keep your integrity as an artist i feel like even though even though first of all you don't want to have to open up and ask people to for funds or money or maybe you don't want to reveal your identity but it looks like at the end of the day it's like then it's like you can either choose to do what is necessary which is reveal yourself to be able to get enough support and money and resources to really get this project going or you know you can decide not to and most likely there will be some sort of frustration attached to that but you may actually enjoy the satisfaction of the fact that you know you still, you know, you remain anonymous or you remain behind the curtain or you remain unseen. Whew. All right. We have companionship. We have dog energy. Again, I don't know how uh, much more I can say about like uh, people, having people around you that you trust, the, your circle of trust, having your supporters, being able to open up to your supporters and letting them know what's going on with you and also letting them know who you are. I also feel like, you know, you actually are very popular. If you have some sort of anonymous project or people only know you by your handle, no one's ever seen your face. I feel like you are very popular though. I feel like you actually have a lot of influence or cred or something like that. So if you use your voice, uh, other people are, you know, people listen to what your, your, your suggestions are. Okay. Or they're, they're, they, they like your work. You have some really loyal fans. You have some really loyal followers is what I'm getting as well. Okay. Also, I mean, Queen of Wands energy, there, there's a reason for that because you are hella talented because you are bringing that fire. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look here. What's the, what's the takeaway here for this reading for our Leo Virgo friends? We do have power again. So I do have two of these decks together. So both the deer and the volcano are power together. So double down on the power. Yeah, but I feel like you got the power. <laughs> All right. Um, also here, I feel like, yeah, you're, I mean, you're hot. You're going to be what's, what you are alive. You are dynamic. You are exciting. You are one hell of a performer. And I feel like people, when they, in person though, some, some people are good at being, you know, personable on stage, but when people meet you behind the scenes, I feel like they like, everyone falls a little bit in love with you. Okay. If I'm being full transparency, Leo Virgo, everyone falls a little bit in love with you. Not only are you gorgeous and it doesn't matter whether you believe, you know, you you don't have to be conventionally beautiful to be gorgeous in people's eyes, to be attractive, to have magnetism. 
I, and I feel like you do have that, but also I feel like you have such a great sense of humor. I feel like you also, you know, you're not what people expect and the best way possible, okay? And sometimes you are though, like if they're expecting, you know, the best, <laughs> yes. If they're expecting, you know, like a diva that's not willing to work and that's difficult and that's gonna be, you know, have no sense of humor, that ain't, that's not you, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.